as that's going to be laced towards the left. A nice leaping grab by Flores, but that'll play to run as Mish will score on the sack fly as Xavier ties it up one apiece in the top of the second. Bell digs in. Marty with the bat over his shoulder. Swings and can't make contact. That'll be a strikeout for Marty and sets the 2-1. Is going to be swung on. That's going to go through the gap. That'll score a run. An RBI single for Connor Mish as he ripped it right up the middle. And Xavier takes their first lead of the afternoon, 2-1 to one over the Wolverines in Ann Arbor. Over a foot of break there on that pitch, the 0-2. And that'll get through. That's going to score a run potentially as Mish rounds for the plate. Throw is not in time. And Hellman delivers with a two-out RBI single. Two out, one on for the Musketeers. Here it comes. And it'll be ripped fair. Just snuck inside the third base line. That's likely going to score Dupre all the way from first. And that's a double from Walker. Just under 290 on the season. The one, two. That's going to be a base hit and will score a run. Marty fields it in center field and Hellman will be held at first. Swing and a miss, Overtop goes down swinging. And that's a big strikeout there for Jonathan Kelly. As Cushing gives that one a ride deep into left center. That's up and over the wall for a solo blast. Jared Cushing adds to the tally for the Musketeers. And it's now 6-2. to two. Xavier on top. Just took it for a ride over left center field. Pace and Flores converged on it, but all they could do was watch it sail over their heads. Mish takes that one for a ride. That's over the wall. Back-to-back -back blasts. And things are really clicking for the Musketeers now. Orwell gives up back-to-back -back home runs. It's a tough look for Horwato because he was really, really like settling in right there. Bases loaded, two on, or excuse me, and two out. Into the corner and left, that's trouble. That's going to get down. Flores will throw in, but not before. Two more score for Xavier with two down and two on. Dieter is going to rip that one through the gap, and that's going to score another one. Flores can't field it cleanly, and two score for Xavier. A two RBI single for Teddy Dieters. Two outs, full count. Runner's going to be going from first here. And that's lifted to left, and All that right. is gone. The second home run of the inning for Jared Cushing. That'll wipe the bases and extend the lead to 12 now. Nine runs in the inning. Jared Cushing with a monster performance all of a sudden today. Before the seventh inning, he was 0 for 2 on the day, drew a walk. And then now in the seventh inning alone, he has two home runs. Longo cuts and misses. And that'll retire the side for Michigan. 14 to two, it's all Xavier here from Ray Fisher. Caught in a miss there as a close play. What an effort from the catcher Hammond who's come in to place replace uh, Dupre. So we've talked about the pitching, Michigan not wanting to burn any arms, which makes sense today, but the bats of the Wolverines still could have been more active as Pace is punched out, caught looking. 2-1, two, 2 down. That's going to be lifted into right center. And hauled in. That's the ball game. Schultz grabs it. And the save goes to Jack Housinger. Not listed. It won't be listed as a save, but we'll give it to him. 
And so that's the ball game. 14 to 2, a nine run seventh inning for Xavier. Puts this one out of reach for Michigan.